My next guest is a very funny comedian. A very uh, so popular that when I looked at the CD, I noticed that it had been stolen by one of the staff. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, the CD is called Vegan Mind Meld. It's available on website and iTunes. Please welcome Mike Kaplan, everybody. Mike Kaplan. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching, uh, whether right now or later. Uh, <laughs> who DVR'd this? That's for the people at home. So... Uh, and, and one gentleman here today, so, that's all, that's all I have planned, is just riffing off that. I, I have a friend, I was playing golf with a friend the other day, let's say, and, uh, I'm gonna hide some jokes in between the words, see if you can spot them, but, I appreciate it. you're doing it, you're doing it great. Uh, I was, I was playing golf with a friend, and I said, hey, do you want to make this interesting? And he was like, oh, you want to put some money on it? And I was like, no, let's stop playing. <laughs> Take that, golf, you're boring. Okay, I, uh, I only go after targets that can't attack me back. I, who plays golf? Rich old white men? What kind of power do they have? <laughs> most, most of it. Uh, I, uh, I live in New York, and I, was, I saw a sign on a guy's car in New York that said, nothing of value in car. Right on the dashboard, nothing of value in car. I was like, that is a nice sign. So I broke in and took it. <laughs> I left my own sign that says, now you're right. So, that would have been rude. I don't like to be rude. I don't understand some etiquette, though, like pointing. I don't get why pointing is rude, because you could be like, hey, you're great. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching at home. It could be like, Uncle Sam wants you. That's not rude, you know. It could be, I understand if it's like, hey, that's the one, officer. Yeah, that's not rude. That's, no, don't do, don't do that. But I think it's a generational thing, you know what I mean? Like, a, an older woman said to me once, she said, when you have a finger pointing at somebody else, you have three fingers pointing back at yourself. So now I only point at people like this. <laughs> Which seems ruder to me, you know, especially if you're up real close. And <laughs> I was at the movies the other day, I saw a woman breastfeeding. Saw a woman breastfeeding right in the theater. I was like, lady, no outside food allowed. <laughs> Read the rules. Uh, I'm pretty great with women, let's say, why not? You're not gonna research it. I get asked out sometimes. A woman said to me once, do you want to go out for coffee or drinks? And I was like, coffee is a drink. Bam, she left. <laughs> I don't want to go out with somebody who doesn't understand the difference between a set and a subset, though. You know, it's like, what's, what's next? Want to go out for rectangles or shapes? Get out of here, lady. You know, silly meal. <laughs> Another woman said to me once, she said, you play your cards right, you might get lucky tonight. And I was like, playing your cards right sounds like skill, the opposite of luck. Bam, two down. <laughs> Women like it when you say bam, also. I read comic books. So. Hey, I have been out with women of all shapes and sizes, from skinny to rhombus, and from infinity down to negative infinity. That's when she's not even there. That happens a lot. But uh, the best part about dating somebody overweight is if it's long distance, the distance is slightly less long, and gravity pulls you even closer. So you got a lot. I met this girl named Meg. I was like, oh, is it short for Megan? She said, no, Margaret. I was like, oh, I guess all the letters in Meg are somewhere <laughs> in Margaret. If you want to be a detective looking for clues to a nickname, Jumble Style, you know? <laughs> like, that's not the way to abbreviate. If your name's Michael, you're not like, call me Clam. <laughs> Clam or ham or ace is good or ice or lace or lice or you could go with lame or depending how you feel about Jews, Lachaim and Heil are both options, so. <laughs> I have some pickup lines that I'll use. I'll go up to a woman and I say, hey, can I buy you a drink? And if she says yes, I say, you are wrong. I am broke. Can you buy me a drink? I, uh, women do have it rough, though, like, because that's how I give it to them. And, uh, agree to disagree. Fair enough. They, they face a lot of discrimination, women do. I heard about this group of feminists protesting the term manhole. You know, a manhole right in the ground. A, man, a person of either gender can go through one of those. I agree. Sexist term. We should call them street vaginas from now on. <laughs> the manholes, not the women. That would be rude. Thanks a lot, everybody. You guys have been great.